All right, 710. So here's your formula right here. Okay. It says how many in 40 minutes? That is going to get plugged in right here for time. Okay. So you take your calculator. Second ln d degree e. And you type in 0 0.0125 times 40. And then multiply that by the 1,000 in front. Or move the decimal places. Whoops. So that's 1648.72. So if we're writing the whole number, 1648 cells. We do not have 1649 yet. How long will it take to reach 8,000? <clears> well, <throat> in that case, we know the 8,000 over here. So we have the 1,000 E the point zero one two five T you divide by a thousand to get rid of that get E by itself so that's just simply eight and then all we're going to do is LN both sides so remember when we LN this this is going to go out in front or some people think about it is dropping down you cross off the LN E and then basically you just divide by 0 0.0125, 0 0.0125, and you just type that in the calculator. Remember when you hit LN of 8, close those parentheses, then divide by 0 0.0125. So that's going to be 166.4 minutes. All right, same idea. Now, notice you have the two dates here. So this is going to be 10 years you're plugging in here. So y equals 9.9e .9 to the point zero zero two eight, and you're plugging in 10. All right, I'm not going to show that on the calculator or see how to do that. You type that in and you get 10.2 million people. So it says this is in millions. When will we reach 12 million? You put the 12 here. 9.9 E.0028 T. Again, divide by 9.9 .9 first. And get this number, or you could leave it like that, and we ln both sides. You can actually take, since that is going to be a number, you can just type in ln 12 divided by 9.9 .9 and not have to worry about rounding decimals. And you're going to divide by 0 0.0028. And you can actually just type that all in. LN 12 divided by 9.9. .9. Get that number. And then divide by 0 0.028. Just realized the slight error, the other zero didn't pull up, so it's supposed to be 0 0.0028, which would have made it 68.7 years. Okay, number three. We have $4,000, 3.2 continuously, six years. So 4,000 E. 
point zero three two change to a decimal and then you put it in six type that in the calculator you get four thousand eight hundred and forty six dollars and sixty eight cents make sure you pay attention to the rounding now how long will it take to double the in value okay there's two ways to do this you can type in you can put in eight thousand here because that is what it will be to double and put the four thousand here But here's a little trick. When you divide by 4,000, you're just going to end up in the, with two on the left side. So to save yourself a step, you can just put two and one here. It doesn't matter what numbers you put in because when you divide by the coefficient, you're going to get two. So that is a time saver if you want to do it. If not, put the 8,000 to 4,000, divide by 4,000. It's just an extra step. Okay. So I'm going to move this out in front, LN both sides. Turn that one into an L. That goes away. We have LN2 equals 0.032T divided by 0 0.032. Type that in the calculator. Again, remember, hit your closed parentheses before you divide by 0 0.032. And that gives us 21.7. years. Number four, in an overfished area, the catch of a certain fish is decreasing <clears throat> continuously using this rate. How long will it take for 800 to become 400? Okay, so again, you can put 400 here and 800 here, and you have a negative 0 0.084 We'll try to find out how long. Again, a time saver here is when you divide by 800, you're going to get one half on this side. So if you want to, another time saver is just to put 0.5 over here and leave that as 1E because it says <clears throat> 400, 800 is, uh, you know, half. So you just save yourself time. It's up to you. So again, I'm going to move this out to the front. LN both sides. That goes away. So we have LN 0.5 equals point, sorry, negative 0 0.084T divided by the negative 0 0.084 cancels negative 0 0.084. And we type that in our calculator. It ends up being 8.25. Now, it doesn't tell us whether that's months or years, so we just put U for units. We don't know. All right, number five. You put 7,500 into an account, 2.9, remember that's 0 0.029, continuously, five years. So future value, 7,500 is my base, starting amount. E to the 0 0.029, make that a 5, and then we get a future value of 8,670.3. Don't leave it like that. Remember, there's money, so it's 0 0.30. So always have two spaces after the decimal for money. How long will it take to reach 10,000? Well, 10,000. That's 1,000. There's 10,000. 7,500. E. Again, 0 0.029, and this time it's T. Same math, we're going to divide by 7,500. Okay, so 10,000 divided by 7,500 is 1.3, repeating, or 4 thirds. So we get E the 0 0.029T. Again, this is going to come out in front. We're going to LN both sides. And then we're going to divide by 0 0.029. So we just type in LN, 4 divided by 3 in parentheses, get a number, divide by 0 0.029, and we get about 9.9 .9 years. <clears throat>
How many days will it take a culture to increase continuously from 2,000 to 50,000 using this rate? Okay, so 50,000 is the end amount. 2,000 is the starting amount. We put our E because it's continuously. We put 0.657 and we put our T. Same thing, divide by 2,000. So 50,000 divided by 2,000 is going to be 25. Six five seven T. Again, this is going to get moved down in front. We're going to L N E that disappears. L N. I'm skipping steps. Point six five seven. Divide. Point six five seven. That cancels. We type that in the calculator, and we get about four point nine days. Right there. Number eight. Population is growing continuously at 3%, 0.03. Population is now 5 million. What will it be in 17 years? Future amount, starting at 5, continuously, 0 0.03, 17, about 8.8 .8 million people. Number nine, certain bacteria is growing continuously with this model right here. Same one we've been using. K is right here. I'm going to plug that in. How many hours will it take to reach 10,000? So 10,000 equals 80. There's our E for continuously. 0 0.071 T. Same procedure. First, get rid of the 80. So divide by 80. So that's 125. E to the point zero seven one T. Again, we LN both sides. That makes this go away. That moves out to the front or just drops down. Meaning we're going to divide by point zero seven one. Divide by point zero seven one. And that's going to be about sixty eight hours. Last but not least, principal is right there, $2,500. The interest rate is right there. We move the decimal two places to the right. So that's going to be 2.35. It says as a percent. How long did you invest your money? That's this number right here. What was the accumulated value? Well, we have to run this through the calculator. And when we do that, this real quickly. Again, end it with calculator. Second E, 0 0.0235 times 7, enter, times 2,500. 2,947,008. The A tells the second number to turn up to 1. So 2,947 and 1 cent. How much interest did you earn? Well, you take this amount minus this amount. That means you made $447.01. That's it.